This is Coogan Cassius, we're at the Midland Hotel here in Manchester. With me I have Paul Smith, who fights Tony Dodson for the British title this Saturday. Um, what happened now at the face-off? Just Dance. They're all the same, these press conferences aren't they, and the head-to-heads and all that, you know, I like them sometimes, sometimes they're just a pain in the ass. but, you know, I like having a look and seeing what he's got. I've looked all the time and seen what he's got and I've seen I've seen enough. I'm not, I know if from the first fight with him, I know if now with him, I know what kind of person he is, I know he's a confidence person. I know he needs people around him telling him he's gonna be okay. I know he needs to keep reassuring himself that he's okay, but he had to let go at the, at the end of the, the thing there, you know, just staring at me, wouldn't stop. You know, just, just asking him was he gonna say it and I don't need it, but he's shaking as he's talking, you know, he thinks I'm this was literally thirty seconds ago, as you know, I'm standing here calm as in it and he's He's in there, waked up, running around, shopping everywhere, shaking the nerves are getting to him, the adrenaline's getting to him, you know, that, that's what he's like. At the end of the day, it counts for nothing. You're getting the fight sat and I know I've got the edge psychologically. I know I've beaten before. I know I've got plenty more than him now. I know I've, got, I've done a lot more in the gym. I've done better work, smarter work. You know, I think he's grinded himself to the ground. I think he's, he's done himself in and worked too hard. He looks dry. He looks struggling with his weight. You know, he's saying he's on the championship weight now. He, he, his body isn't like that, he's a big lad, he doesn't need to be on championship weight now. You know, that's how it goes, that's how we all are. But, you know, I know I've got the upper hand and I know, I know I'm in his head psychologically. You two, since, I mean, in the last sort of couple of months have now had to do this face-off three times, from the original press conference in London to the mm. one the other day now. Yeah, yeah. Is there a genuine dislike between yourselves or is it, is it something no. personal or just... It's not personal, he's, he's fighting me, you know, so that is personal, but I don't dislike him, I don't, don't dislike him as a person, as a person he's alright away from boxing, so, you know, I can't stand here in line and, and make things up just to, just to try and stay a fight up, I don't mind him as a person, but in the ring and as a fighter, you know, I despise him when he's in there and I want to I get him out of there and do a good job and do a number on him. When I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago, I said about Joe Gallagher's comments about, you know, this is mm. last chance for not just for you and um, you, but for Tony Dodson as well, it's what Joe Gallagher said, and you didn't agree with that, you're just taking the fight as, as it's coming, and okay. then whatever happens after that, happens. But isn't that the same for anyone else? If, if Gavin Reese loses to Crowley, yeah. I'd say that was it for him, you know, regardless of, of how good he is and, and what level he's at, you know, what, what do you want to do from there, rebuild at British level or, or, or go back to... You know, European title level or something else. So I don't think he'll want to rebuild. If, if Crowler loses, you know, he's going to be the same. If, if Quig loses, it's going to be a setback because it's his first loss. But he's got to start back again. And it, you know, at, at the age, me, Reese, Cro um, Tony Dodson, and a few other fighters are that every fight you have is like that. You know, so but I don't go in thinking that way. I don't go in thinking, oh, I've got to win this because it's, it's my last chance. It's this, it's that. I go in with a game plan. I go in with you know, the, the strategy, and I go in with, with the. The, the graft that I put in the gym and the diet and everything else all in the bank and knowing that I'm going to put it to, to good use and win the fight. Are you satisfied with the phys physical condition? That I'm happy, you're yeah. In? yeah, I'm happy with the physical condition. You know, Joe, Joe's a great trainer and you know, I, I'm there and I wish I'd have gone there a lot earlier in my career. I've, I've said this time and again, my diet's gone, gone great. I've been, I've been on so many diet this time. I've been getting my food handled for me and nutritionists and chefs cooking it and delivering it to me. Door, you know, and I just eat what's given to me and monitor, they monitor me weight and tell me how everything is and everything's been fine, everything's well on schedule. All right, Paul. I don't think there's a lot more to say. We're just okay, looking mate. forward to a, a great fight on Saturday night. So I wish you the best of luck. Thanks, Rob. Thanks and a lot. we'll be there. And uh, nice good mate. luck. Cheers. Coogan Cassius with Paul Smith here. Thank you very much.